Good evening, everybody. Please sit down. My name's Quinton McKellar, and I'm the Vice Chancellor at the University of Hertfordshire, and I'm delighted to welcome you all here this evening to the graduation ceremony for um, the Faculty of Humanities, Law and Education. And if I can begin by introducing colleagues on my right and left, on my right, Dr. Andrew Clutterbuck, who's the Pro Vice Chancellor for the faculty, and on my left, Dr. Charles Wilde, who is the head of the School of Law. Can I also, uh, at this point, welcome all our about-to-be graduates, postgraduates in, uh, in the faculty. Very warm welcome to you also. I now have pleasure in calling on Dr. Charles Wilde to address the assembly. Charles. Good evening, and a very warm welcome to you all. Our graduates, our families, and your friends who join us on this important day. I'm delighted and proud to be sharing this special moment with you, celebrating all that you have achieved here with us and looking ahead to bright new futures for every one of you. Too often recently, whenever we turn on the news or open a newspaper, we are faced with bad news, economic woe, and drastic cuts. It's easy to be pessimistic. And then, a day like today comes along, and I see motivated, highly skilled people, such as yourselves, ready to reshape our world. It's a tremendous feeling and a welcome reminder that our future is in good hands. Of course, that's not to say everything is going to be easy out there. It isn't, and you're graduating into a world very different to that of even 10 years ago. There is no doubt you will face very real challenges in many ways, you are better equipped than any other generation before you. Your time at Hertfordshire has made you more flexible and adaptable than the graduates of yesteryear. When you chose the University of Hertfordshire, you chose a university focused on honing the very skills and attitudes that will open doors, whatever the economic climate. The experiences you have with us have not only challenged you intellectually, as all higher education courses should, but also challenged you personally and practically, giving you the opportunity to learn and grow beyond the classroom. You've not only developed academic knowledge and practical skills, but you have grown in confidence and creativity, making you a real asset to employers right from day one. Sharing this day with you reinforces the value of higher education in producing outstanding rounded individuals, bursting with the fresh ideas, drive and passion to build a better society. For those of you who have already entered the legal profession, you enter it at a time of exciting change that sees more emphasis placed on your skills, knowledge, and expertise. Of course, what you will have realized is that learning did not end when you finish your course. And although here today you will receive your certificate as proper recognition of your achievement, it is something on which to build for the future. What you have today is a tremendous foundation of theory and practical skills that you will build on every year. Whatever you do next, whatever your, uh, wherever your careers will take you, you all share a common link. You are all part of a growing international network of Hertfordshire alumni. With that comes a certain responsibility to do good in the world, make the best use of your skills, and in turn, help others. While you're pursuing your new careers, I hope that you'll spare a thought for us now and again. In fact, I would like to encourage you to do more. Every year, we welcome alumni who have gone on to achieve success all over the world and who feel passionately about giving something back, sharing their stories and insights, even employing students and graduates. You too could be someone who makes an incredible difference to a young person's life and encourages others to follow in that, your footsteps. Our alumni are important to that continued success. As people who have benefited from a university education, you will continue to see the value in higher education. While I hope you feel the University of Hertfordshire has provided you with tremendous support through your tutors, I urge you also to think of others who have made today possible, 
through so many sacrifices, your school teachers, peers, friends, and of course, your families. All that remains for me to do is once again sincerely congratulate you on your outstanding achievements. I hope you look back on your time as a student here with great fondness. So, on behalf of the University of Hertfordshire, I thank you for being with us today, and I wish you the very best of luck with your future lives and careers. Thank you. Thank you, Charles. We, we, we shall now receive the uh, postgraduates of the Faculty of Humanities, Law and Education. And one of the uh, senior academics from the faculty presents our candidates. And today I call upon Penny Wiggins, who will uh, present the candidates to me. Faculty of Law, Humanities and Education, School of Law, Master of Laws degree, Doom Alexandria Gilbecca. <laughs> Ogetche Princess Okaye Oti. Kavita Laxmi Thangaraja. Mark John Dines Woodward. With distinction, Kazi Mokles Udin Ahmed. Maria Hernandez. <laughs> Carson Ip. <laughs> Mud Abdur Rahim. Master of Laws degree in Commercial and Maritime Law, Dea Issa Abdul Razek Abu Fada. <laughs> Saif Al Kabi. <laughs> Farouk Azam. Williams Egonu. <laughs> Duo Ping Jiang. Sheikh Mosfek Kabir. <laughs> Annie Edda Nujwe. <laughs> Swaminathan Singaram. Simeon Olfen Malola Thomas. <laughs> Master of Laws degree in Commercial and Telecommunications Law. Nishanthi Kumudini Bodahanaji. <laughs> Hanaji. 
With distinction, Patience Danlami Garba. Muslimat Falake Osho. Master of Laws degree in Commercial Law, Safarash Ali. Shezad Ashraf. Hamish Gull. Sahid Hussein. Minnesota Asabi Johnson. Jahan Zeb Khan. Tian Jane Kuchande. <laughs> Mohammed Iwas Makbul. <laughs> Ahmed Ali Monga. Salvan Jadini Nadaraja. <laughs> Olubunmi Ibajoke Ogunyi. Antuela Paza. <laughs> Atif Raza. <laughs> Sultan Rome. Rahul Shidra. <laughs> Kenya Kizizenia Situmeang. <laughs> Nazra Ula Sayal. With distinction, Clevis Tejo. <laughs> Ala Tawakal. Master of Laws degree in e-commerce and international law. With distinction, Ekemoye Wiswolo. <laughs> Master of Laws degree in e-commerce and maritime law. With distinction, Nayaz Mud Ashik.
with distinction, Tochwuku Christopher Arakwe. <laughs> Master of Laws degree in International and Commercial Law, Limba Pauline Kalua. Master of Laws degree in International and Maritime Law, Anton Rabos. <laughs> Gunez Kayali. <laughs> Yasser Yaji. Master of Laws degree in International and Telecommunications Law, Erika Gubjumo. <laughs> Andrea Samantha Merlo. <laughs> Master of Laws degree in International Law, Moninda Singh. Sultan Al Kabi <laughs> Amici Anthony Izo <laughs> Shola Abidemi Olabode. Master of Laws degree in Legal Practice, Holly Elizabeth Taylor. <laughs> Master of Laws degree in Maritime and Telecommunications Law, Bankpan Quinette Agby. Tineri Uruchuku Arinze. <laughs> Lynn Patricia Hemsley. <laughs> Onyinye Linda Imo. Master of Laws degree in Maritime Law, F.A. Victoria Ohio. <laughs> Zhao Lu Pang. Postgraduate Diploma in Legal Practice, Helen Janet Appleby. <laughs> Neelam Begg. <laughs> Aretha Begum. Shifa Begum. <laughs> Dipti Hashmuk Bundia. <laughs> Newton Bundia. Joe Fewings. <laughs> K 
Carla Hemsley. Sonia Jabeen. Winner of the Judges' Prize, Matthew Robert King. Laura Michelle Minting. <laughs> Musgan Quayum. <laughs> Postgraduate Diploma in Legal Practice, Stages 1 and 2, Jacqueline Butchart. Christine Rachel Caffrey. Claire Cullen. Zoe Doolan. Carly Driscoll. <laughs> Sophie Evans. <laughs> Syed Saab Ahmed Fatimi. Tammy Louise Gordon. <clears throat> Alexander Louis Robert Gournay. Brett Howell. <laughs> yes, I'm a mood. Kimberly Nicole Osborne. Faraz Salim. <laughs> Janike Vajayanda. <laughs> Joanne Helen Witherden. Graduate Diploma in Legal Studies, Nina Rea May Rendell Antiporta. <laughs> T. 
Timothy Edward Doody. Valian Ewan Garendi. Ekaterina Vladimirovna Graham. Danilene Christina Quinto. Claire Louise Rees. Well, let me be the very first to congratulate all our new graduates. Very well done, fantastic achievement. Um, can I also just pick out those of you in the audience who are Welsh uh, and congratulate you on a wonderful Grand Slam today. Um, some of you... Some of you might pick up from my accent that things didn't go too well for my home team today. But it was, uh, it was tinged with, if, if you like, a, a silver lining because uh, the team which I support secondarily to Scotland, of course England, um, and I support them not only because they are the country which I have uh, come to live in and adopted, but also because I'm delighted to tell you that two of the players for England our University of Hertfordshire students. Fantastic achievement. Um, Charles, in his uh, address to you earlier, spoke a little bit about attributes and the attributes that we would like the graduates of the University of Hertfordshire to have. Um, and I, I think I would like to expand a little on that because we've undertaken over the last year a process, and it's a process which has involved academics from the university, but also students from the university, and indeed we've engaged with employers of University of, of Hertfordshire graduates to come up with uh, a set of attributes that we believe that our graduates should display. And those attributes, some of them might be uh, obvious to you. We believe that, that, that our students should have learning skills and that they should have research skills. And we believe that obviously because knowledge is building up so quickly that it would be impossible for us in the short period of time that students stay at the university in any way to conceivably uh, transmit to them all the knowledge that they might need to know in their careers in the future. So they have to have developed learning skills. We fundamentally believe as a university that the skills which contribute to research are also uh, uh, hugely beneficial to our graduates. Those are skills of critical thinking, which will allow our graduates to solve problems for the organizations that they end up working in. We also believe that graduates from this university should have intellectual depth and breadth and adaptability. And we hope that our law and related subject uh, graduates actually are able to enjoy the arts and the humanities. We hope that they're also able to understand some of the issues related to the harder sciences, because in so doing, they'll be able to contribute in a very positive way to the the great debates of society, the debates relating to global warming uh, and poverty and so on. We particularly hope that graduates of this university respect each other and respect others. And I, I believe that this university with its extraordinary cosmopolitan population, a population uh, I think from more than a hundred different countries uh, and certainly with all different races and religions and colors represented in the student body and indeed in the staff body of the university. 
We hope that that experience will help you as you go through lives to respect others. We also hope that you will embrace what might be termed social responsibility in the broadest sense. And of course, that could simply mean that you pay your taxes and that you obey the law. But we'd like it to go further than that. We'd like you to uh, consider issues which are important to everyone, issues of global warming, but also issues which are particularly important to the communities that you end up living in. We hope that you will be, uh, for want of a better term, good neighbours. We hope that you'll look out for your neighbours. We hope that you'll vote in elections. We hope that you'll take part in community events. And we hope, therefore, that you will truly embrace what I would call social responsibility. But finally, as University of Hertfordshire graduates, uh, and, and some of you will be aware that we pride ourselves in this university uh, as being extremely business-facing. And so finally, in terms of our graduate attributes, we want our graduates to be professional, we want them to be employable, and we want them to be enterprising. And it will be those enterprising graduates from this university and from other universities who go out, start businesses, or contribute in very positive ways to businesses who will help get this country and indeed other countries throughout the world uh, out of recession and into prosperity again. If you are able, as our graduates, to embrace all those attributes, we, I can assure you, will be deeply proud of you. I want, though, to finish uh, not by addressing the graduates, by addressing those immediately in front of me, those who uh, certainly this evening have come to support our graduates, but I'm sure have supported our graduates in many, many ways over, in some cases, their whole lives, but certainly for all of you over substantial periods of time. And I would like to say to you that our graduates certainly could not graduate without the support of those around them. And so can I ask the graduates to join with me in thanking those who have come to support you tonight. Now that concludes the formal part of the ceremony this evening, but um, could I invite you all to go to the de Havilland restaurant immediately after this where there are refreshments and you can uh, mix and enjoy each other's company. Could I ask you now if you wouldn't mind standing up as the academic procession leaves.